My name is Jane Zimmerman. I was doing a lot of research as I was looking for design build firms to take on uh, the project of our dreams. Uh, for a long time we had wanted to redo our 1948 post-war brick colonial home and the house had so much in the way of good bones but it had issues like the original plumbing etc. So I did a lot of research online talking to neighbors as well. I looked closely at sites like Consumer Checkbook, other online reviews, and we ended up interviewing about three or four firms and Moss came out as the clear winner. We felt that we were getting really good value for the price, uh, neither too high nor too low, not over-promising, not under-delivering. And uh, I would say in the end, all that research really paid off. I found the initial consultation with Moss to be very professional. Uh, when they came, uh, first of all, they were, were very respectful of the property and us. I think they also saw the same potential in the house that we saw. I chose Moss because they had a really tight focus on project management. When we undertook the project, that was when uh, the pandemic in particular was really inflating building costs, and there was so much volatility in terms of materials. So we were really concerned about how to manage costs and manage the allowances within our project. I felt that we worked really well with the team up front to get a realistic scope of the project, uh, how costs would be managed, and how uh, the work and timeline would proceed. It may sound a little bit strange to undertake a major renovation project and addition when uh, you're suddenly becoming an empty nester, but my husband and I realized that we also needed to be able to do some kind of one level living. One of the other things I really appreciated about Moss and its design team is that they were certified in universal design. That is, we now have a bedroom and bathroom on the main floor that fully meet the needs for anyone with disabilities. So if we ever found ourselves incapacitated or in a, on a walker, in a wheelchair, uh, we could easily be cared for here in our own home. So aging in place was a big motivation as well for this renovation. There's a feeling I get every time I walk into the house. I literally feel my spirits soar. It is still very recognizable as the house we loved and, and fell in love with uh, over 20 years ago. At the same time, I feel like the house is really living up to its potential for the next generation. I feel that I now have uh, the room for family, friends. I wish we could have undertaken this earlier, but at least we did undertake it at long last. And just being able to um, move and walk around the house more freely uh, we were able to open up a new hallway between the front door and the rear of the house. That hallway has made a tremendous difference. It's all sorts of little things uh, that really uh, made a big difference. I really love our new home. Uh, the way it makes me feel, the way it's going to change our lives. This renovation has already transformed our lives and we haven't even finished moving all our stuff back in here. So, and we probably won't be moving all our stuff back in because we had too much to begin with. So it's been a great opportunity to kind of downsize and reset our lives.